Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will see the definition of autocorrelation function and its properties. So we have seen already the definition of the autocorrelation function. We will go through again through the definition once and we will see what are its different properties. So these properties are very useful while solving the problems in this chapter. So we will see one by one. So we will see first the definition of autocorrelation function. So it is denoted by rxx of t1 comma in general t1 comma t2 which is nothing but expectation of x of t1 into expectation of x of t2. So this is nothing but what autocorrelation function generally gives is the similarity of the process. So x of t1 and x of t2 are the we are observing the random process at two different time steps. The same random process we are observing. These are the at two different time instants. And then we are taking the product of those two and then we are averaging how similar it is with the same process, how it is behaving at two different time instants. So that is the main purpose of the autocorrelation function. So our, the other definition is Rx x of t comma t plus tau is nothing but expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau. Expectation of x of t into expectation of x of t plus tau. So we have also seen what is wide sense stationary process for wide sense stationary process for wide sense stationary process or in short wss process wss process we can write rxx of t comma t plus tau it is simply the difference between these two so that means it should depend on Tau. This tau in general it is called time lag. It is called time lag. For a wide sense stationary process it should depend on only the time lag. So we will see next uh, what are its different properties. The first one is autocorrelation function. Autocorrelation sorry, autocorrelation function autocorrelation function is an event function or symmetry function autocorrelation function is an event function is an event function or it is a symmetry symmetrical function what does this mean rx x of minus tau is equal to rx x of so this is one property. The second property is autocorrelation function is always have always have always have maximum value maximum or the autocorrelation function is always maximum at time lag tau is equal to zero autocorrelation function always have maximum value at tau is equal to zero or if you observe the autocorrelation function at any other time instant which is not tau is equal to zero you find the magnitude it is always less than or equal to rx x of zero so at tau is equal to zero at tau is equal to zero this is the value if you observe the or if you find the autocorrelation function at any time instant which is not tau is equal to 0 which is always less than or equal to the value at tau is equal to 0. This is the second property and third property. So if you observe the autocorrelation function, autocorrelation function 
what is the definition of autocorrelation function rxx of for bytes and stationary process you can write rxx of tau which is nothing but expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau right for a, this is for a white sense stationary process wss process now if you find its value now if you find its value at tau is equal to 0 that is rxx of 0 so here if you substitute 0 tau is equal to 0 expectation of x of t into again if you here if you substitute 0 it is nothing but expectation of this is x of t this is x of t that means x square of t so on this side we have rxx of 0 rxx of 0 what is expectation of x square of t means this is nothing but expectation of x square of t is nothing but mean square value mean square value mean square value which is nothing but what mean square value indicates mean square value indicates the power in the process power of the random process power in the random process so if you know the autocorrelation function if you know the autocorrelation function we can easily find its power by simply substituting tau is equal to 0 if you substitute tau is equal to 0 you can find without any integration we can find without any integration the mean square value or which is also nothing but which gives the power in the random process so the other very important properties which are useful while solving the problems are the one next is very important which you, you should remember for solving other problems based on autocorrelation function if expectation of x of t expectation of x of t which we will denote with x bar if that is not equal to 0 that is the first condition and x of t x of t is ergodic x of t is ergodic ergodic with no periodic components with no periodic with no periodic components with no periodic components then with no periodic components then limit limit magnitude of tau tends to infinity as tau tends to infinity rx x of autocorrelation function autocorrelation function value is given by x bar square x bar square so this is this is very useful property this is very useful property for solving or for finding the mean square square of the mean value so from this we can find by using this property we can find mean value we can find mean value of the random process we can find mean value of the random process random process this is the fourth property and next property fifth property is fifth property is if x of t if x of t has if x of t has a periodic component if x of t has a periodic component periodic component then autocorrelation function autocorrelation function rx x of tau will also have will also have a periodic component will also have a periodic component 
with same time period as x of t also we will have a periodic component with with the same time period with the same time period so next sixth one is sixth one is for example if x of t if x of t this is extension of the fourth property if x of t is ergodic ergodic but it is zero mean but it is zero mean and has no periodic component so then obviously limit magnitude of tau tends to infinity r x x of tau as mean is 0, x bar is 0, so this is also 0. Limit mod tau tends to infinity, rx x of tau is equal to 0. The last one is, last property is the autocorrelation function cannot have, cannot have any arbitrary shape. So, it should have a proper shape, should not have any arbitrary 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 shape so these are the seven properties of the autocorrelation function so in the exam they will ask what is the definition of the autocorrelation function and they will ask list the properties so you have to write this definition and the first one is autocorrelation function is an event function a symmetric function and the second one is autocorrelation function is always have maximum value at tau is equal to 0. And the third one is if you substitute tau is equal to 0 from the autocorrelation function, you can find the mean square value or the power in the random process. And fourth one is if x of expectation of x of t is not equal to 0, as limit mod tau tends to infinity, rx x of tau will be equal to mean value or mean value square or we, from this we can find mean value of the random process and fifth one is for example if random process is having some periodic component then autocorrelation function also will have same period, periodic components with same period and sixth one is an extension of fourth one if x of t is ergodic but here it is having zero main then limit mod tau tends to infinity the autocorrelation function is equal to zero and the last property is autocorrelation function cannot have any arbitrary shape so thank you friends for watching so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel share with your friends and classmates thank you